just to show you, I've continued refining the spline cage so that I get this nice curvature all the way around the cross sections. Now I think this leg might be a little wide for my purposes, so I will non-uniformly scale it down in this direction. And I'll use the reset X form utility to reset the object. What that does is it assigns the X form modifier to the object that stores that transform and it resets the scale back to 100% so that the non-uniform scale that I just did is now part of object space. I'll go to the hierarchy tab, affect the pivot only, and center it to the object. Then I'll mirror the object upside down in the Z direction. I'll make an instance of it like that. Then I'll rotate it with angle snap 90 degrees and move it over in the XY plane about like that. Because these are instances, if we want to make changes to the X form, we can do that and non-uniformly scale it up or down and they'll both get fatter or thinner. Now to create the tabletop, I'll go into the top viewport and just sketch in quickly a few vertices on a line. Let's go something like this. And then I'll go over here and go to the vertex level, select all, right click and change them to smooth. And that's about right. Then I'll assign the bevel modifier and I've already set up the values that I want. I started by uh, setting in half an inch in level 2 and then I just outlined and added a, a short eighth inch bevel on the bottom and on the top of the tabletop. Now I just need to move this up to the top of the legs and I'll use Alt A for the align tool and I'll align it in the Z position and there we have it, the Noguchi table. Just for the heck of it, I'll go to Object Properties and make the tabletop see-through. And we'll call this Tabletop 1. And then, of course, I'll select all the objects and group them to get together. Give it a name. Move its pivot point down to the ground.